What we want to do is, as a team as well, is get our feet on the ground in the NHS, talk to staff, you know, listen to what they're, they're saying. I think what we've got with this government is a government that's totally out of touch, arrogant, and it's not listening to what people are saying. What we want to be is a voice for those professions as this bill gets towards its final, uh, final stages in Parliament, speaking up with real, uh, real authority for them uh, so that we can, we can hold the government to account. We've got about, time is running out, let's be honest about that, time is, is running out. We've got about, uh, the, the bill will be in committee in the House of Lords until uh, Christmas just after. Then the Lords will have their, what they call their report stage. So there'll be a series of big votes in the Lords in, in late January. Then it will come back to the Commons. The bill has to be through the Commons by the 28th of March. But there's no guarantee at all uh, that the government will, will be able to meet that deadline because it's taking much longer in the Lords than, than they thought. Now, my objective here is as that process gets to its end game, we've got to be building up the volume, the noise, through this campaign, the Drop the Bill campaign, and Kailash's petition. We've got to kind of cut through the apathy you know, that nothing can be done, because it can, uh, can be done. I, mean, I just want to let you hear from others, and I also want to hear your thoughts about how we can build out this, uh, build out this campaign. But I'll finish on this point. Knight Bevan famously said, there'll be an NHS for as long as there are folk left who are ready to fight for it. Now, I know you're all here because you've got the faith. You've got the faith in the NHS, what it stands for, what message it sends out about this country. But the question I've got is, have you got the fight? Have we got the fight? Have all of us collectively got the fight within us? And I think it's time for this party of ours to show <coughs> to people out there that we have got the fight for things that we believe in. We are prepared uh, to, to really go out there and defend what is truly important to us, what speaks to our values and the things that we've done to make this country better. And I just say now, we've got to find that fight within us, all of us working together in our workplaces, with colleagues, with trade unionists, all of us coming together, putting aside any differences we might have, standing together and sending that loudest of possible messages to Cameron, Landry and the government. It's time to drop this bill. You've no authority to do it. And if you do do it, people will never forgive you. But that's what we're here to do today. Thanks for being here. And now I'll hand over to, uh, to Dan.